Hello friends, welcome to new 7 Key Tools video training. This is Narendra Sharma and in this tutorial I am going to discuss about tree diagram. In my previous tutorial I have discussed about interrelationship diagram. So, what is the tree diagram and why we use the tree diagram? First, we address these two questions one by one. So, taking first question first, what is the tree diagram? As you see here, the structure of boxes and the branches. This is a tree like structure in which the boxes are hanging like the fruits on these branches. Hence, the structure seems like a tree is expanding from left to right side. Now, the second question is why we use the tree diagram in quality improvement? So the answer is tree diagram is used for quality improvement purpose. Here in this box we need to write the quality improvement objective and brainstorm how to achieve how to achieve this objective. By brainstorming we break or decompose this objective into three options and these, this is called level 1. These three options are comparatively easy to achieve than this major objective. Now from this level 1, the option 1 is further decomposed to three more options and option two is further decomposed to option three more options and these options are named as 2.1, 2.2, 2.3 and similarly the option three further decomposed to three more options. So we have nine options at level two and these nine options are easy to achieve compare to the options available at level 1. So the ob objective, uh, quality improvement objective achievement moves from left to right side and the quality improvement gain moves from right to left side. Now this is a symbolic treatment but to better understand the tree diagram we have to take a working example. So in next slide I am going to take a working example. Here it is. This is improve workplace environment. So the Quality improvement objective is workplace environment. So, on this first box, this was first box, I need to write the quality improvement objective, which is improve workplace environment. Now, after brainstorming, the team or we can say that after brainstorming the three options come out here at level 1 improve process cleanliness major results now improve process how can we improve the process three more options come out here and what are these options the process can be improved 
by auditing the process. The process can improve by making a flow chart for the process and finding the trouble spots of this process. Now, cleanliness for the decomposed blue, three more options. So, how do we, we can ask the questions to decompose this objective? How can we achieve the cleanliness? We can achieve the cleanliness by making clean our workplace. The second is uh, using PEEP. PEEP is place for everything and everything on its place. So we have to designate a place for everything used at workplace. Now a third option, orderliness. How do we achieve the orderliness? Put the things by its frequency of use. The most frequent things are put in first line out of order and so on. Now the third option at level 1 is measure results. How can we measure the results? Now answer this question. We have three answers here or the three options coming out here. The result can measure by collecting the data and analyzing the data then concluding making a conclusion for this analysis this way I have got nine options at level two hope you have now clear about the tree diagram and how does the tree diagram help to achieve the quality improvement objective. In my next tutorial, I will discuss about matrix diagram. Please drop your feedback and subscribe the channel for latest video updates. You may connect with us by even mode of online platforms shown here. Thanks for having stay with me. Have a nice day.